man, I, that was early on in my career, and I had such a little part of that, but I'm so grateful. I had no idea. I was just like, this is awesome. I got hired to go be around Vince Vaughn and, and Owen Wilson, who I obviously was fans of, and I have like four lines in there. And still today, people come up to me constantly, <laughs> constantly, and they quote those lines. I didn't even know the lines when I was doing it. Like, and I don't, the, the fact that people know them, uh, but it's the kind of movie where you just, you can watch it over and over again. It can be in the background. You can, before you, you know, college kids, people, adult, we all, people watch it. It's just, and it's, and it hold, it's one of those that holds up. It's still hilarious. Yeah. I mean, do they come up with you with the, the, the polo shirts popped and that sort of thing? Yeah, the, and the, yeah, the, yeah, the sweaters over there. Yeah, the you're, yeah. The, it, it, yeah. And that, they, the, a lot of people get, because it's Vince as well, they get, my role in Wedding Crashers and then the role in the breakup with Vince a little bit, a, a little bit confused. They know it's the same dude, but they're like saying the lines from one to the other. And I'm like, and now it's confusing me. Um, yeah, to, just to be around those guys, like kind of like at the, you know, the height of their, uh, their you know, on their, their, their ascent, I guess, to, uh, you know, comedy gods, I guess, was a, it was, and then, you know, that was one of Bradley Cooper's first things. And I think, I think Rachel Mc, I told the story the other day, one of the, as a young actor, one of the coolest things I've, I've ever seen was watching a director direct a performance out of another actor by using the off-camera performance of, of another one. So he would, he would give notes to Rachel off-camera, and her performance would then dictate Owen's response. It was just like, and I, I just was like, this girl is incredible, yeah. and just just rapid fire, changing thoughts, changing notes, and the way she would do, you, you guys will never see it because it was off camera, mm. but um, I just got to sit there and stare at him like, oh, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm out of my league here. <laughs> yeah. Not at all, man, not at all. And then working with Vince Vaughn twice, I mean, that guy is one of the greatest guys. I've gotten to chat with him a couple of times. I mean, tell me, there's yeah. gotta be a, good, a great Vince Vaughn story. He's gotta crack people up constantly. I, I just, so I did Wedding Crashes, obviously, and then the breakup came about, and I, and I got that job, and I was so grateful we shot that in Chicago, and Vince is from Chicago, he's a Chicago god, um, and one night he, he was like, come on, kid, like, you know, and he, I'm a big guy, he's a bigger guy, like, so I feel like, he's like, like, his arms around me, and he was like, let's go have a beer, and I was like, oh, this is awesome, we went to this bar, we had a couple of drinks, we're hanging out with some of his friends, and he was like, we're going to go to another bar, um, and so I, I was like, okay, what can I do for Vince Vaughn? You know what I'll do? I'll run outside and I'll get a cab. So I, he was paying the check. He's richer than me, so he can pay the check. Um, and I, I had a cab waiting for us. And I was like, okay, Vince, j jump in. And he goes, come here. And he literally whistled. And a cop car drove around and picked us up and took us to the next bar. And I was like, ah, come on, man. That's a one husband yeah. right there. He whistled, and the dude, like, zipped around. I'm like, what is happening, man? That's legendary right yeah, there, man. Yeah, it is. Wow, that's incredible.